John 13 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Prophecy January 11, 2015. In a vision, the Lord reveals a major earthquake upon the islands north of Australia. Mankind needs to repent of our sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty, the only one who can credibly reveal these events, John 13, 19. February the 12th, 2016. A powerful 6.6 .6 magnitude undersea earthquake rocked off the coast of Indonesia hitting southwest Sumber Island, and parts of Java, just north of Australia. The depth of the quake was 44 km. After this 6.6 .6 earthquake struck, in the comments section of the prophecy it was announced that this was only a precursor for a destructive earthquake which would hit the region shortly. Then two weeks after, March 2, 2016, a powerful mega-quake measuring 8.3 on the Richter scale jolted West Sumatra in Indonesia. An official of the Meteorology and Geophysics Agency said a tsunami alert was issued. The depth of the quake struck the seabed at 10 km March 4, 2016. In February, the New York State Governor said the facility, operated by the Corporation Energy, reported that an uncontrollable radioactive flow from the Indian Point nuclear power plant, continues leaking into groundwater. This groundwater directly to the Hudson River, raising the specter of a Fukushima-like disaster, only 25 miles from New York City. Energy reported while preparing a reactor for refueling, Workers accidentally spilled some contaminated water, containing highly radioactive waste. Investigations have declared that it is now a trillion times worse. John 13 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Prophecy. June 7, 2015. In a vision, the Lord reveals much water about to explode from under the earth. Cracks are seen in the ground and the appearance of the asphalt lifting off. It appears to be the northeastern region of the USA. Breaking news world. We have just did a pre-launch of a preliminary World Vision Day website. It's exciting. You gotta check the World Vision Day website out at www.worldvisionday.org. That's right. Very powerful website. Supernaturally created in just a few hours. Tells you about World Vision Day. What is it? The manifesto for World Vision Day. One day, one hour, one voice, one call, one place. The worldwide impact. Why quarterly World Vision Day? The preparation for the day. Witnessing guidance, street preaching guidance, all on the website. Participation, persecution, persecution reporting resources. And the list goes on. And you're also on the website. Very exciting. You can download the World Vision Day brochure. And as you can see, it's coming up right here. The World Vision Day brochure tells you about World Vision Day, how to be saved, and gives you prophecies, the latest fulfillment of prophecies. You can beam in your your mobile phone and this barcode right here and the, the prophecy will pop right up on your phone and it tells you about the world vision day next world vision day coming up april 2nd 2016 this website is off the chain it's, 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 it's amazing you gotta visit the world vision day website um, and list as a investor and list as a part of this world vision day click right here to enlist enlist 
right there and it tells you how to enlist your name, your email, world vision, there's all such effect and you're putting your information right here and you're enlisted. It's very easy to be a part of world vision day. It's not complicated. No matter where you are in the world, you can enlist as a harvester for world vision day. No matter your church, your denomination, your culture, your language, no matter what, you can enlist. Another option right here, you can download the World Vision Day song and, and the movie. You can go to Amazon, available on Amazon, get it on Google Play. This is the World Vision Day um, movie or song right here. Play to God, you can get a lot more on, on World Vision Day. There's a lot more, there's more World Vision Day messages. You don't want to miss this. This part is all exciting. It has World Vision Day Revelation, the revelation of World Vision Day. And you have Why World Vision Day, What to Do on World Vision Day, The Price of Despising World Vision Day, Convincing Preaching, The Realm of Prophetic Preaching, and the list goes on. And as I said, it's still in, it's a working progress. But you don't want to miss this beautiful, powerful work. As you can see right here, the next World Vision Day April 2nd, 2016, 12 noon. Go to the website, enlist as a harvester. Enlist and be a part of World Vision Day. Check out the World Vision Day website, spread it around. Send it to every Christian on planet Earth. Every Christian on planet Earth need to visit this website, World Vision Day website. Because God has sent World Vision Day to resurrect the body of Christ and to shape planet earth with the gospel. This is the biggest event in modern history, both spiritual and secular. World Vision Day, there's nothing as big as this. World Vision Day, turn up, visit the website. Today's sermon in one day. Come on somebody, I hear God says, make the ark for New York. What's happening here is not just a church. God is making the ark. God has said, harvest army. Come on, somebody. Mother Noah. Come on, somebody. Make the ark for New York because trouble coming. My God of mercy here. It's all right to not clap right now because it's getting somber. Come on, somebody. New York is under judgment. Oh, and we need more than a regular church. We need an ark for them to run. Just this week, Indian Point, a nuclear facility, begin to leak into the wells. Come on, I say Indian Point nuclear facility is nearer to New York than Fukushima to Tokyo. And when Fukushima explodes, 50 miles to 100 miles around it become a no man's land every building become a no man's land Indian Point is only 25 miles from New York City and the Bible says in Revelation 17 and 18 a great city will be destroyed by fire it will be destroyed by water. It will be destroyed by a plague. And it will be destroyed by famine. Oh, mystery Babylon. The Bible said. The prophet said. The greatest city. On earth. That all the merchants have to do business with the city. And the Bible said. Lord of God, in one day, in one hour, Jesus, this city will be destroyed. Listen to me, East Coast people. Listen to me, New York people. You've got to know God and everywhere else on the earth. Oh, glory to God. You've got to live holy than everywhere else on the earth. Hallelujah. God is not telling you to run, but God said, get into the ark. God is not telling you.
telling you to run like a wimp but God said get in to the ark get in to the Lord get in to the church get in to the bosom of Abraham get in to the holy church get in to Jesus get in to the church because the great city is ripe for judgment And that will be the thrust and the death of the ministry in America and East Coast and the world from now. Huh? Trouble coming. Get into the ark. It ain't no play. It's not just Jesus is good and he loves you. He gonna tell them trouble coming. Trouble coming. My God of mercy, uh, trouble coming. Uh, your only way out uh, is in the ark. Uh, for New York uh, is not a stadium uh, with 8,000 people. Uh, with all the three doors, uh, the tunnel in Manhattan, Washington Bridge, and the Pansy Bridge. There is no other door out of this big New York. Uh, come on, somebody. See, you have to have something better than bridge. Ah, see my hand. Uh, you have to have something better than tunnel. If that's your hiding place, uh, I got in trouble. Uh, you need uh, the ark. Uh, Shiba Hapa Kata. Shiba Handa. Shiba. You need the true church. You need the Holy Ghost church. You need the church that have the voice of God. Reba Kasha. For God said, I'll never destroy the righteous with the wicked. Reba Shata Haya. Trouble coming, trouble coming, trouble coming. I hear God said, Get into the If you ever do witchcraft, don't do it again. Are oh, you hearing me? Don't do it again. If you're ever involved in divination, don't do it again. Renounce it. Don't do it again. Deliver yourself from it. And lose yourself. Because if you do it again, in the name of Jesus, things are going to change on the earth things are going to begin to happen in one day mankind have done what we want to do and God have extended mercy in the name of Jesus he has extended mercy but Bible said God is not slack concerning his promise come on somebody but his long suffering help me to verse not willing that any man should perish help me to verse but it all should come to repentance. And I hear God saying, I'm coming out of that season. Come on, somebody. Of waiting and patience and, hey, and mercy of that kind. I'm going to cause man to get into a realm of one day. And that's why God has been releasing upon the movement. Uh, World Vision Day. It's, it's, it's not by itself. It's connected. Hey, you see, it's, 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 the, it's, it's, the, it's the positive part of God's one day response to mankind. <laughs> Somebody say, in one day. Somebody say, in one day. God says, in one day, divination will be judged. 
Roma kasata da baba. Kuroba koshiba baba. Shimanda sataraba. Isaiah 47 verse 9. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. That's witchcraft. And for the great abundance of thy enchantments. That's divination. I mean a small kind, large kind. Anything from palm reading to horoscope to, to burning candles to burning incense to, 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 to having a, a shoe on your door and to, to anything, to go into any place to, to claim to damage people. If you're a Christian, nobody can damage you. If you wash in the blood, come on somebody. I could get in trouble and tell somebody you won't even you won't even believe me. Come on, can I try it out? Can I try it out? Um, um, can I try it out? All if you're not Holy Ghost baptized yet. I know he wasn't ready for that. See, get quiet. As long as you wash in the blood, they never touch you. Come on. Glory to God. Say some some up is not them. Don't give them no, don't give them any credit. Like how ISIS take credit for everything. They can't touch you. Yeah, I know you don't believe me about the, the Holy Ghost thing. It's in first John 5, 4, write it down. He that is born of God overcome. You're not even Holy Ghost baptizing. You go to Baptist, they can't touch you. You go to Methodist, they can't touch you. You never hear preaching like this in your life. Come on, somebody. You go to United Church, they can't touch you. Come on. So what, what about when you go to Pentecostal Church? What about when you go to Holy Ghost Church? Come on, somebody. Somebody said, they can't touch me. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Come on, somebody. If you feel sick, go to doctor. And go to emergency room and take pill. If your faith not up there yet. But somebody said, they can't touch me. Come on, somebody. Put your hand on your head and say, be healed in Jesus' name. For they can't touch me. You ain't saying amen. Then I come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You feel sick, take two day rest. Come on, somebody. Glory to God, they can't touch me. You ain't saying amen. You ain't saying amen. Tell the wife, pray for me, honey, because they can't touch me. Because you are watching the blood. Come on, and when I see the blood, you ain't talking to me, somebody. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Shiva Hama. Shiva Hata. Hold it. Hold it. But God is about to touch them. You didn't hear me? I said, God is about to touch them. Come on, somebody. Whichever country they are in, warn them. Warn them. God is about to judge diviners, sorcerers, and witchcraft workers in one day. Any country where they are, where they are big, warn them. Somebody say in one day. Somebody say in one day. I can't hear you. 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 Shibahata. Somebody say in one day. Divination will be judged. Hallelujah. 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 You need to come up more with me. After me working too hard. Riba Handa. Shabakaya. Somebody say in one day. My God of mercy here. Somebody say in one day. Somebody say in one day. Divination will be judged by God Almighty. Don't fear them. My God of mercy. Rafo Shiba. Shiba Handaraba. Rapakataya. Tell them run out of it. Come on, you got divination and run out of it. Come on, somebody. Shiba Hatabakaya. Rapakara. Run out of Mother House. Run out of Poco House. Run out of Poco Church. Shiba Hatakata. Rapaka. Tell every poco, every poco member, run out. Tell them run out. For in one day, 
and hear nobody with me uh, in one day. Riba Shataraba, tell your grandma, don't do it again. Mashiba Haya, Mambrababa, tell your nephew, tell your niece, don't do it again. For in one day. understand body of Christ things are changing it's a new season it's a new day God is sick and tired of man behavior God is about to bring it all when I was growing up my father he was a very good man are you hearing me somebody you do 20 things he say nothing he do nothing he still laugh with you and smile with you and give you money but number 21 he give you all one time oh shiba handa rabo kota bakata shiba basata raba somebody say in one day somebody say in one day fornication will be judged my god of mercy my god of mercy my god of mercy my God of mercy here. My God, I'm gonna get over that thing. Get over that stuff. Get over that phone thing. Get over that funny talk. Get over that Facebook thing. Get over that Twitter thing. Get over that side talk. Get over that thing. Get over somebody, tell your neighbor, get over that thing. Don't be afraid of them. Tell them, get over that thing. Point your hand the and get over that thing. That phone number, that name, that letter, get over that thing. For in one day, fornication will be judged. You ain't listening to me, somebody. What a good God. What a good God. What a good God. First Corinthians 10, verse 6. Now these things were our example to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand in one day nobody know it but don't do it again come on somebody you can't kiss that guy no more you can't get zika nobody ain't helping me here Leave it all on me right now. Graka satarabahaya. Shibaba satarabababa. Shebehenda mandaraba satarabahanda. Right. If you don't care about yourself, you gotta care about that baby. Oh. Come on, somebody. When you're married, are you there? Come on, somebody. That Zika ain't gonna deform that baby. I mean, oh my God, oh God is something. Come on, somebody. Somebody say in one day. Somebody help me to preach this thing. Somebody say in one day. I told you it's not the same. And when I was years ago, I always asked God. I said, God, why you allow all these people to be doing all these things? Showing off on God, spitting on the church, showing off on pastor. Everybody thinking I try throwing stones at the church. I asked God, God, why? That's in two in 1999. I asked God why. I said, God, why? you allow them to beat upon the church and beat upon you like that and the Lord rebuke me and say silence and I preach it I preach it I said I think the sermon was silence the power of silence the, the, the silence seal they remember God rebuke me and I preach the silence seal months later September 11 I keep quiet but certain time quit it quit going to that house teenager girl quit it you double minded preacher quit it in one day fornication will be judged quit it Drop it. Get help. Get prayer. Let go. Quit that 2 a.m. call. Oh, 
Shibaba. Rabokon to the boss. Shibaba. Quit tempting that person. Quit setting yourself to be a temptation to that person. If you have been blessed by today's message and what God has been doing through this ministry, we ask that you support and help us to spread this vision throughout the world. The Bible says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. God is magnifying His word through prophecy, and many atheists, religions, and non-believers are beginning to take notice. Your generous contribution will help save and change lives. The impact of your seed may save a generation. For God's revival has truly come upon the earth. So call today and make a tangible donation with the assurance that your seed will restore lives throughout the ends of the earth. Call 718-696-2769. That's 718-696-2769. Or you can visit us at harvestarmy.org slash give. Give your seed, throw out the lifeline, and don't let another soul slip away. Every day, God speaks to vessels around the world to prophesy and prove Him as God. But many times, those vessels are not the popular names of Christian ministry. God said in His Word that He would prove Himself through prophecies and revelations, not only from the Bible, but also speaking through His servants. On HarvestArmy.org, prophecies and revelations are posted almost every day and are fulfilled in due time. It is our responsibility as Christians to listen for the voice of God. The Bible says not to be ignorant of the devil's devices and plans. We encourage you to check the updates on our revelations page every day. The website is www.HarvestArmy.org. That's www.HarvestArmy.org. Don't make fulfillment of prophecy be a surprise to you.